Let's talk about the two most amazing stocks in the market right now. And it's going to be a trend that is going to grow in popularity, I'm sure. That is companies who add crypto assets to their balance sheet. And here I'll present to you an update of the two that I have, that I follow, and that I have been investing in one of them for a while, in another one just recently, but the performance has been extraordinary. I've never seen anything like that. So the two companies are Soul Strategies and MicroStrategy. So MicroStrategy buys Bitcoin, adds it to its balance sheet. Soul Strategy, which is a Canadian company, where you have an OTC pair or OTC ticker available for the US investors. The OTC ticker is CYFRF. So this company has decided to add Solana to its balance sheet. And I got in not really early, but early enough, I would say, that I'm already up 100% on my trade. When I bought the company, the multiple of the value of Solana plus the cash of the company was very close, was very close to its market cap. Now it has expanded quite a bit. And I think that explains why the stock has performed quite well. I think you, everybody needs to look and see which companies were going to add Bitcoin or Solana to the balance sheet. I think that will be really positive for the stocks, especially Bitcoin, I would say. Solana in a more volatile way. But so far, I've been pleased with these trades. And like everything, once you have conviction, you have to go hard if you want to succeed in investing. So my portfolio right now is 70% MicroStrategy and 30% Soul Strategies. It was actually 80-20, but now Soul Strategies has moved quite a bit that it's now 70-30. So let's cover what happened recently. So for Soul Strategy, a lot of volume came in. People got aware that this company was shifting and starting to accumulate Solana on its balance sheet. This company also stakes the Solana coins, so they get recurrent Solana rewards. I'm guessing the percentage of reward is probably between 3 and 5% or something like that, depending on uh, where they stake and the amount of tokens that they stake. And plus, the company has decided to have a few validators so that, that also contributes to generating SOL tokens. This is the difference between SOL strategies and MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy does not stake Bitcoin. They just buy, add it to the balance sheet, secure it, and the price of the shares move accordingly. So I just did the, today the recent calculation about how many shares of Sol strategy is required to get one Solana. And the calculation is 300 shares of Sol strategy equals one Solana. That's pretty much the ratio. This could change over time. And because Sol strategy is associated with Solana, who is more volatile technically than Bitcoin, we could see a lot more explosiveness on Sol Strategies. Also, the market cap of Sol Strategy is in the range of 100 times less than MicroStrategy. So Sol Strategy is investing in Solana in the low millions and even in the 100,000s right now. And MicroStrategy is in the upper millions and billions now of investing. Sol Strategy does not have a business behind it that generates cash that would allow it to buy more Bitcoin or pay the interest if they take loans to buy Solana. In the case of MicroStrategy, MicroStrategy has an AI business 
that generates a few million a few million dollars in profit that can be used either to buy Bitcoin, to pay loans, and to pay for general expenses. So this is going to be a tiny little difference between both companies. But because I have high conviction on Solana and Bitcoin, well, I invested in both. I plan to invest the same way I would do and I am doing with the actual crypto coins of Solana and Bitcoin. That is, we have not technically started the exponential phase of Bitcoin. We are not even at all time highs. And I'm already 100% up in my investment in soul strategies. You can imagine if I wait until the mid and end of 2025, which would be the end of the cycle for Bitcoin, keep that in mind, for Bitcoin only, what's the upside for micro strategy? And at the same time, what's the upside for soul strategy? Bitcoin will pull all altcoins and mean coins of the market. Obviously, the better ones will get better returns. So that's phase one. And phase two would be at the end of the bull market. If we ever get a real bear market again or a semi bear market again, people are going to sell Bitcoin, accumulate cash and invest it for one, two, top three months in altcoins. And in my personal opinion, not financial advice, the best altcoin out there in the market in October 2024 is Solana. So if the profits from Bitcoin get dumped on Solana, Solana could explode even after following Bitcoin for a year or so. So the returns could be massive, massive, massive. And any companies who is accumulating Solana at this stage, timing wise is perfect. On top of that, Solana has characteristics that could bring an increasing market share for trading, high frequency trading, but also for payments. And used to be payments, why? Because it's extremely quick, fast and cheap to transact with Solana blockchain. So there's a lot of combinations here, but I believe first movers advantage is quite important. You can see it with MicroSailor and MicroStrategy, who is the best stock in the stock market right now. And now Soul Strategies, it's exploding in the Canadian market. A lot of people don't know about the company. I'm covering it here just so that people are aware. But the possibilities are endless. What type of multiple of the market cap relative to the value of Solana in the balance sheets will be given to Soul Strategy? I have absolutely no idea what's going to be the ratio also for MicroStrategy in the upcoming months. I will track that down and share it with you guys. So the performance of the week for Soul Strategy is 125%. You saw the big jump in price here in the shares. Obviously now you need to wait a little bit for retracements, establishments of support before potentially getting in. But like I indicated, it's not financial advice. I'm investing for the long term in this two assets, sole strategies and micro strategy, because I clearly see Bitcoin and Solana completely dominating the crypto world in the upcoming year. And my conviction, I put it in my invest investments. And when you go in hard, with conviction, usually you get rewarded. Obviously, the price can correct, everything can come down. I mean, there's risk associated with that, but after my analysis, I'm convinced of these two trades. I even dropped my position in Tesla. That was quite important because I believe Tesla will take time to gain in price. It's probably in the next year and a half or two years that the stock will start to move. 
So what I'm planning to do is at the end of this bull run, if we ever get some kind of bear market, I'll take profits in both of these positions and invest heavily in Tesla. Because at that time, I think the company will be ready to generate more alpha profits and the stock could skyrocket with all the different value propositions that Tesla has to offer. So this is going to be my strategy for the next year, two years, but I'm extremely excited right now with Soul Strategy and MicroStrategy. As you see in the four hour chart here, it's, it's vertical. So like I said, you need to wait for retracements right now. Levels are going to be established. Seems that 35 now is a level, 35 cents, 60 cents, it's also another level. 70 could be another level. So we will see if it's going to be 10 cent increments right now to in the upcoming weeks, too early to say, but the explosiveness of these stocks has surprised me, even myself. But once you put the work and you identify these type of companies and the strategy behind it, I think it's a no brainer, but time will tell if it was the right decision or not. Let's look at the daily chart for sole strategies. It doesn't change that much. It's pretty much huge volumes, huge explosion in price. And now we need to wait for retracements and see where we can add to our position. And on the weekly, well, on the weekly, we are something that I forgot to say. We are all time highs, obviously. The previous data was on a different type of strategy. The company was completely different. So I pretty much disregard that. We had a peak here at 50 cents, but the main candles stopped at 40 cents. So technically 40 cents could be another support. 35 is going to be another support. But as you see here, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. So probably increments of 5 cents will be the norm now for soul strategy as support and resistance levels. It's too short of a period right now to evaluate what's going on. The volume is and was huge in the last three weeks. We got a golden cross here that triggered and as you see here, the explosion in price. This is vertical. Could this happen to Bitcoin? I hope so. If so, both of these companies are going to continue up and explode extremely well with their relative risk that is associated with each of them. As you see here, the weekly performance is 100% for sole strategy. So amazing. Congrats to all that were able to buy the stocks, to buy shares are around 10 cents or 15 cents. If you got it below 15 cents, then you already have a multiple X and it's just the start. This thing can have legs for a long, long time. Let's have a look at MicroStrategy. The stock also went up 15% in the last week and broke a very, very important level, which was 200. We are also at an all-time high for MicroStrategy. We got the initial break here. We got a correction just a little below 200, and now we came back and confirmed that 200 is now a very important support. To me, this is the beginning of the bull run for MicroStrategy, and it's front-running most probably what will happen with Bitcoin. We are not even at all time high in Bitcoin. That's why I'm extremely excited because we don't know if Bitcoin will do 1x, 2x, 3x this time around, but this will translate to X amount of multiples for MicroStrategy as it is more volatile. It's a leverage play on Bitcoin. And if MicroStrategy adds more Bitcoin to its balance sheet, the X grows exponentially. 
So this strategy is going to completely crush it. Obviously, if Bitcoin continues its trend, which I believe it will, M2 supply globally is going up and Bitcoin is already responding, it's starting to follow it. It's going to be an amazing end of 2024 and beginning of 2025. Just to conclude on the daily chart, anything close to 200, between 200 and 210, or even 215 would be a very nice entry in my opinion. The closer you get to 200, the better it is. I don't know if next week it's going to correct a little bit or if it's just gonna shoot up above 220. It's going to depend what will happen during the weekend for Bitcoin. Obviously, micro strategy and soul strategies, you can only trade from Monday to Friday from 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. So these are the trading hours. So there's a lot of people who buy shares on the Friday, say, hoping that Bitcoin or Solana moves up during the weekend. So on opening Monday, they see a big jump in price for their stocks. That is also a strategy. Some people are going to day trade this, leverage play it. I don't know exactly what they're doing, but I'm not doing that. I'm investing for the long term. Like I said, I'm investing for pretty much until summer of 2025 or September, October to see what will happen. There's going to be periods where we'll have to take profits if ever we see some kind of a top for Bitcoin. The risk for Solana and Bitcoin is that when it corrects, these two stocks, MicroStrategy and Soul Strategy, will correct even harder than Bitcoin. So it's going to be extremely critical to take profits near the top before the big correction happens, if that correction actually happens. So it's all about timing. It's all about studying what happens in the four year cycles. It's not going to be perfect. You're not going to get the top, but you need to take profits near the top to completely grab the value of your investment. If not, you may be dragged down to levels that you don't want to see anymore. That could eventually be great buying opportunities and not time to sell in those periods. So keep that in mind. And on the weekly here, on the weekly chart of MicroStrategy, we see that it's going vertical right now. Nothing but bullishness. And like I said, it's similar to soul strategies. We need to wait now for resistance and support levels. And right now, the big support is at 200. Anything between 210 and 200 would be a great price, great, great risk reward in my opinion, not financial advice. But if you were going to invest for the long term, even 215 to 20 would be a good entry point. You have to take the decision yourself. But because I'm investing for the long term, $5 here or $5 there on the share price will not have a significant impact on my overall returns. But I always try to buy near supports and eventually sell near resistance levels. We will see what the future holds, but I'm extremely excited about these two assets and share updates for all of you. Congrats to those who have invested early in this strategy, in these stocks, you are going to get rewarded. Ciao.